Yeah, we'll talk. I mean, he's, I mean, obviously he's in the midst of a great year and, um, and this doesn't change that, you know, this is, this is one bump in the road. And frankly, you know, it's, it's always, um, an opportunity to grow and learn from, which he's done a great job all year. You know, he hasn't had, you know, the level, you know, because he's been so dominant, there's still been things in the course of an outing that he's really learned and grown from. And I've talked a lot with you guys about that. This is another opportunity at that. Um, and, you know, that, that little bit of reminder sometimes that, you know, especially, you know, when you're on top of your game and on top of it, you know, this game will get you and, and, and it's a humbling game. So, uh, we'll learn from this. He'll grow from it and, uh, excited to see him get back out there. Glaber exited early. Exactly what happened? Was it on one play or had that? No, I just started to tighten up on him. Um, and I think just being cautious with it, kind of getting him out of there. I don't expect it to be anything major. Max to the left. After the way these last two games went, do you think you'll need to make a move or two for the bullpen? Probably. Like, we'll talk about that now. Not to be too overarching here, but these last couple of weeks has been a rough go for the bullpen. Yeah. Can you put your finger on anything specific? Yeah, I mean, it's it, it has been a little, a little up and down for some guys, and you know, that's going to happen, and again, like, I talk to you guys all the time about this, like, the season's going to throw you wrenches. It's not just going to be, you know, you know, that's why teams don't win 110, 15, 20 games. You know, it's it's tough. We're we're going through a tough stretch right now. You know, we've had a little bit of a tough week and obviously had to lean on some guys heavily. Some guys are kind of struggling to get that that consistency down there. But um, you know, we got to just keep working at it. And and you know, I, I think it's it's a great opportunity to kind of reflect on what we're doing, what we have, and continue to try and push forward and get a little bit better and address needs that we have. <clears throat> Joel. Wonder if Hill is Hill is pitching over his head at all this year, and also if he's going beyond the point where he's ever gone before. Why do you think it's just a bump in the road? Uh, we'll see. I mean, that that's that's my belief. I mean, stuff was still really good today. Maybe not as crisp with certain things, but we'll we're paying a t close attention to all that stuff. So I can't answer it based on today. They got after him today and didn't miss some heaters in the center of the plate. You know, that's been uncommon. So we'll kind of evaluate this outing. Uh, you know, the pitching group will get together and evaluate it and see where we can make tweaks and, and get better for the next one. Randy. Almost halfway through the season, you guys are up by half game on them. I know it's early. You faced them two series now. Just what's your thoughts on uh, what you've seen from the Orioles this year and uh, what you expect for this race to be going forward? Yeah, I mean, they're really good. They got a really good club, complete club, athletic, versatile, power, uh, you know, complementary roster with one another. Um, so they're, you know, there's about as formidable as there is. And, and the first couple series, they've had their way with us. You know, they've had the upper hand. So, um, you know, but there, it is a long way to go in all this. So, um, you never like losing, especially in, in your division and up against a team you're you're battling neck and neck with. But, um, you know, it's also an opportunity to, to hopefully grow for us. Chris. With uh, with how they were jumping Luis early in the counts, do you think they had a tell on him, or was it just a matter of him we'll, not having it? Yeah, we'll see. We'll look at all of it. Bob to the right. <clears throat> Aaron, just following up on Joel's question, is there anything that you saw in Heels' delivery today and his stuff that would suggest that maybe he's just fatigued? Not not to my naked eye. I didn't see anything. You know, and he, I come, he comes out right away. It's 97, 98, you know. Um, um you know, maybe not some of the depth on some of the change-ups he threw. But to my naked eye, I wasn't saying, you know, what is he laboring? Is he? It, it wasn't anything like that to me. It just maybe not <clears throat> quite as sharp. And they made him pay for his fastball. But you look, he was in the heart of the plate a lot. Dave in the middle. Uh, just along those lines, just like, like you mentioned, his velocity seemed like it was the same. Spin yeah. rates were the same. Like, those numbers were typical for him but mm -hmm. has the location at all even in the past couple times not been the exact same as it's been is yeah that look i mean that's something for him that hasn't been that's still a area of growth even when he's been dominating it's not like he is 
you know, he's he's overwhelming you with stuff and being able to throw strikes and but he's you know, it's not like he is, you know, he's still a, a working work in progress from a from a command and control standpoint. So um no, but I think you, you saw a good hitting team with a game plan, kind of take away his fastball, get on some fastballs and not miss them. 